A hurricane man was killed in a head-on crash. Washington County Bomb Squad saves the day and the return of Festival de Juan. You're watching St. George News at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Cannon Seacrest. Hurricane resident Zadok Stanley died in a head-on collision on I-84 in Idaho last Friday. The collision occurred when a semi-truck crossed the median, striking Stanley's semi-truck head-on. Both drivers were pronounced dead at the scene. On Wednesday, October 4th, a bomb squad robot safely retrieved what was thought to be a pipe bomb from a vehicle in Washington City. Cody Blowers has more on the story. The Washington County Bomb Squad was called out one week ago to assist in an investigation in Washington City when detectives received information that a suspect was possibly in possession of an incendiary device. According to police, 43-year-old Levi Lawrence Yoder was arrested and transported to jail in Washington County after the bomb squad technicians used a robot to remove what turned out to be a suspected pipe bomb, which was recovered from the Nissan pickup that Yoder was driving. The suspect was later charged with second-degree felony possession of an explosive device and felony firearms possession, charges that were later filed by the county attorney's office. Yoder made an initial appearance in court last week, and he remains in custody without bail. Thanks, Cody. A local man, Joshua Robert Clark, was accused of breaking into a hurricane home and assaulting the homeowner. Clark reportedly entered the house after a scuffle with the homeowner, eventually locking the homeowners outside. Clark was later retrieved from the house by police and arrested. He is currently facing a charge of aggravated burglary and remains in jail without bail. A lot is happening as we're headed into the weekend, so we're going to throw it over to Sheldon and Amy for the weekend breakdown. Thanks, Ken. It's so many great things happening this weekend. And it all starts right here at Red Cliffs. Oh, they got concerts on the terrace on Saturday. On Friday, they got a market. Uh, shop till you drop. Oh, I love the Red Cliffs. And of course, this weekend is also Wand Fest. Yes, you don't want to miss it at Vernon Worthen Park, and it's free. Oh, tacos and music and so much culture. It's going to be so fantastic. And Horror Fest is this weekend. The Film and Media Alliance has put on Horror Fest. Tis the season for all spooky things. Find out the full list of weekend events on our TGIF show page right there on stgeorgenews.com. Back to you, Cannon. Thanks, guys. It's going to be a great weekend, especially with the return of Festival de Juan. Here's Chris Reed with how the festival aims to unite the community of Southern Utah. It will be a chance for the whole community to come together as the Festival de Juan returns to Vernon Wortham Park on Saturday. The free event, organized by radio station and St. George News Canyon Media Partner, Juan 106 FM, will bring Latino-flavored food, music, and games, and other surprises from 4 to 10 p.m. Saturday. But Juan FM morning host Pedro Madrigal Lopez and Soriama Plancarte say the biggest feast will be how the event brings everyone in the community from every culture together. This radio station is called Juan. And a lot of people say Juan, you know, like if it's the number one. Well, in reality, we want to become Juan. You yeah. know, as a community, <laughs> we want to become one as a community, you know, uh, be one in everything. And, and this is a great chance that we have every year to, um, you know, become one. It looks like Vernon Worthen is where you want to be this Saturday. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Cannon Seacrest with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.